Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last three decades plus of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing and regenerating system. It's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while that may seem like a miracle to some folks, this renewing system is really nothing more than just the way the body works. And greetings, friends. Thanks for joining us on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you, and we love hearing from you on The Bright Side at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today or questions about the longevity products, business, ingredients, formulations, our skin health products, skin health questions, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on The Bright Side, 844-236-6010. And we do have lines open for you. If you want to purchase your longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got blog stories, news, uh, blog posts, news stories, videos, and all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can also click on the Join the Team link. If you want to start a longevity business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, if you want to be in the health business, the multi-billion dollar health business, and you want to change lives at the most fundamental and basic level, basic level there is, which is the level of good health, the longevity business is something you want to take a look at, particularly if you are an entrepreneur and like the entrepreneur lifestyle, which is where you make your own business hours, you earn as much or as little money as you like, and you are your own boss. Most importantly, you're your own boss when you're an entrepreneur. It's not for everybody, admittedly. But if you are an entrepreneur, if you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, you want to look at the longevity business, click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. want to remind you to check out our True Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. I don't formulate with preservatives, fragrances, waxes, fillers, emulsifiers, preservatives, silicon oil, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want all my truth treatment formulations are 100% active and functional. That's why you only use a couple drops of Truth Transdermal C Serum to get glowing, beautiful, healthy, fine line removed, wrinkle removed, youthful, healthy skin. Truth Transdermal C Serum is made with almost 80% fat soluble vitamin C. No preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, silicon oil, and ever in our Truth Treatment products. They're all available at truthtreatments.com. And we have a buy one, get one free special running. And we also have uh, our perfect pair, money back guarantee on all our truth treatments, but if you buy the perfect pair for $49, you get to try it for a month, and I am guaranteeing you 100% that you will notice significant skin health difference with our perfect pair, which is made with our truth transfer, which includes our truth transdermal C serum, as well as our biomimetic mineral mist, fulvic minerals, as well as biogenic ingredients that are found in the skin. I love formulating with ingredients that are found in the skin. All my formulations contain ingredients that are either found in the skin or are imitations or analogs of things that are found in the skin. So I look at the skin as a healing system. I look at the body as a healing system. The skin is just a just a microcosm of the whole body. It's a the body all the body itself and all of its components heal themselves. 
when I was formula, started formulating products in the pharmacy, I wanted to see how does the skin heal itself? What are the molecules of healing? What is the biochemistry of health in the skin? And I found high hyaluronic acid in the skin. I found sodium lactate and sodium PCA in the skin. I found alpha hydroxy acids in the skin. I found vitamin C in the skin and vitamin E in the skin and vitamin A in the skin. So, of course, I use those in my products. In fact, that's all I use in my products. All our true skin health products are made with biomimetic or analogous ingredients, ingredients that are found in the skin anyway. And that's really the secret to the transdermal effects, the penetration effects, and the healing and beautifying effects of all our true treatments. We also have a skin health blog in addition to all our true treatment products and lots of great reviews, five-star reviews, real reviews from real customers, all at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, got lines open, 844-236-6010. Want to hear from you today on the Bright Side? We are talking about the electrical nature of the body, the electrical nature of health. I'm not, I haven't talked about the electrical nature of the skin yet, but I definitely will be doing that. You know, every time you pick something up uh, or rummage around a drawer with your hands to try to find a quarter or your keys or uh, anything else you're looking for, what you're doing is you're taking advantage of the electrical energy that's coming off of your skin. The skin emits electrical energy, and that electrical energy bounces off your keys or your wallet or whatever you're trying to pick, pick up. And between the interaction, uh, between the interaction of the electrical energy from your hands and the electrical energy from whatever you're trying to pick up. That's how we sense things. That's how we know we're picking up our keys and not our wallet. That's how we know we're picking a, we can find a quarter rather than a dime. Think about that. When you stick your hand in a drawer and you kind of rummage around, you can tell the difference between a quarter and a dime. How can you tell the difference? Well, the dime emits different electrical charges that are received by the electrical energy in your hands than the quarter does. And we can actually sense the, we can actually sense the size differences, the thickness differences, the metallic differences between different objects, all based on the electrical energy that's coming out of our skin. The entire body is an electromagnetic system. As we said yesterday, all of life is electromagnetic, and electromagnetics is nothing more than the relationship between negative charges and positive charges. That's all it is, negative and positive. Negative meaning it has an extra piece of electricity, positive meaning it has a sh it has an space where electricity electricity should be and the relationship between the two creates a current negative and positive charges create a battery and that's all the body is so that's all life is it's a relationship between negative and positive charges the body is an electrical system all of reality is an electrical system and what makes life is the transfer of electrical energy from one point to another from negative charges to positive charges think lightning lightning is the classic example of what a neg of what negative charges hitting positive charges looks like in the, in the body you have lightning too the body moves with lightning the cells move with lightning. No, it's not the kind of lightning that's in the sky. It's micro lightning, but it's lightning nonetheless. And the easier it is for this lightning to form, the healthier we are. As we age, lightning doesn't form as effectively. As we age, our cells do not generate lightning as effectively. That's what aging is. That's what old age is. It's about a disruption in the flow of energy between breakdown, deterioration of tissue, short circuiting, and hardening, calcification, you get aging. Yesterday we talked about piezoelectricity, piezo meaning pressure. As the body is pulled, as parts of the body are pulled, as cells are pulled or distorted, they're generating electrical charges. And the reason why nutrition is so important is because it facilitates electrical charges. For the most part, our vitamins and our fatty acids and our amino acids, the mighty 90 essential nutrients are negative charges. There's some positive charges in there. Some of the calcium, for example, generates a positive charge. Magnesium generates a positive charge. Between the negative charges and the positive charges in our food, in our mighty 90 essential nutrients, this is how the body stays healthy. And the more you have in the system, the more of these uh, charges you have in the system, the healthier you're going to be, as long as they're balanced, the negative and positive charges. By the way, breathing generates negative charges. That's why breathing is so important. Oh, and, yeah, and then there's water. Water is amazingly important. You know, water from your tap or water from that you're drinking from a bottle, that's pretty much neutral. It doesn't really have a charge, but the water in the body, that's a whole different animal. That's a whole different molecule, the water in the body, because of electrical charges. We'll talk about that when we come back for our break. I am Pharmacist Ben. All our lines open at 844-236-6010. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Right 
Inside with lines open at 844 236 6010. If you have questions about skin health, nutrition, formulations, ingredients, or if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844 236 6010. If you want to purchase Longevity products, call 866 735 2470. 866 735 2470. Or go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And don't forget to click on the join the team link if you want to start a longevity business for a one time $30 fee. You can be in business for yourself. Click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call 866-735-2470 if you want to speak to a real live human being, 866-735-2470. Also, want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Got specials running. Our Valentine's Day special is still going on in our $49 Perfect Pair Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist special is running as well at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so we're talking about the electrical energy of the body, the electrical nature of the body. The body has this amazing ability to heal itself based on its intelligence and its responsiveness to the environment. You can think of your, think of, compare your body uh, to uh, the body of an animal that's in its natural habitat. The animal, a lion or a tiger, in its natural habitat, not in a zoo, not in a zoo, the animal is not overweight. It's not nervous or tense unless it's going into fight or flight mode. And as they, as we talked about before in the book, why zebras don't get ulcers, the fight or flight mode that animals are in uh, comes and goes. They don't stay in a chronic state of fight or flight like human beings. Animals in the wild never eat or drink when they're not hungry or thirsty. Human beings and civilizations do. In fact, domestic, uh, domestic, domesticated pets eat and drink when they're not thirsty or hungry. Animals in the wild have just the perfect amount of exercise and rest, the perfect balance of exercise and rest. When they need to move, they move. When they need to rest, they rest. They have all, they get all the rest and the exercise they need in the jungle. They have just the right exposure to the sun and other elements, just the right amount of exposure uh, to uh, wind and rain and cold. And uh, that's because the animal listens to their body. When they're cold, they go get warm. When they're warm, they go cool down. The animal listens to its body. It's guided by its body's wisdom. That's what we want to learn to do is be guided by our body's wisdom. One of the most important things we could do to keep the body healthy and hearty and strong is to make sure we're hydrated, make sure we're drinking water. Water is very fascinating stuff. It's not simple H2O. In fact, in the body, you probably heard it said many times, the body is 60 to 70% water. But it's not the kind of water that we think of when most of us think of water. It's not the kind of water that we drink. It's charged water. It's structured water. Water is super duper important. Avoiding dehydration is one of the best ways to help you think clearly. Avoiding dehydration is one of the best ways to give you energy. If you're feeling sleepy or if you can't focus, drink water. And I don't, I'm not talking about just drinking water, just drinking a little bit of water. Drink glasses of water, multiple glasses of water. Watch what happens when you drink multiple glasses of water in a short period of time. You don't want to get full, too full on it. But if you have, uh, if you drink multiple glasses of water in say a minute or two minutes or three minutes, you're going to notice a surge of energy. You're going to notice that you're focusing more clearly. Water can help you uh, reduce your appetite. Water can fill you up. According to a study that was published in the advanced in the journal Advanced Physical Medicine. People who drank two glasses of water before they ate food, before their meals, lost an average of five pounds over a 12-week 12 12 period. Water is incredibly important for the circulatory system. According to another article, this is from the American Journal of Epidemiology, people who drank more than five glasses of water were 40% less likely, over 40% less likely, to die of a heart attack during that same period than people who drank less than two glasses of water. Another study from Loma Linda University showed that drinking five cups of water a day reduced the risk of heart disease. For your skin, water is incredibly important. But keep in mind, all this water we're talking about has to be tied up with collagen, has to be tied up with proteins, has to be tied up in membranes, has to be linked to minerals, electrolytes. This linking to electrolytes and proteins and collagen in the cell membrane creates a very, very special kind of water, a magic water, a water that's strong that's organized, that has different kinds of connections to other, wa other water molecules. When we look at a glass of water, its water molecules are all connected to each other. 
structured water has different types of connections. If you look at it, uh, if you look at structured water under an electron microscope, you're going to see it's got different bonding. The bonding actually creates a special kind of water that's got an extra hydrogen. It's not H2O, it's H3O. I like that. It's a very, it's a completely different molecule. This special structured water is charged. It's electrical. Most water doesn't have an electrical charge. This water in the body has a negative charge. As we talked about, it's the relationship between negative and positive charges that creates flow. Structured water has more electrical flow. It's more electrical. It's not just drinking water. Yes, you need to get, have you need to be drinking water because that's the way we ingest it, but the water has to be locked up in the body and that means you've got to have healthy connective tissue. You've got to have healthy collagen. You've got to have enough nutrients, especially electrolytes. The reason minerals like magnesium and calcium and potassium and sodium are called electrolytes is because they generate electrical charges in water. Water is necessary for the generation of electrical charges. And this combination between proteins and electrolytes and membranes and water is what creates this structured magical water that's negatively charged. When something's negatively charged, charged, it carries electrical energy with it. And then when it interacts with a positive charge, you get lightning and you get flow. This is so important. The kind of water we drink is called bulk water. The kind of water that's in the body is called structured water. And by the way, vegetables and fruits contain structured water too. And this is why enjoying vegetables and fruits, especially vegetables, is so important. One of the main reasons why it's so important. Yeah, there's nutrients in vegetables and fruits, but the main reason is the gelled or structured water. In fact, this is what, make ve- this is what makes vegetable juices so filling. When you drink vegetable juices, you get really filled. In fact, vegetable juices are a great way to enjoy a fast. Even just adding some vegetables to your, to your water can help make your water more powerful. Keep a glass of, of uh, filtered water in your fridge and add sliced citrus to it. Add berries to it. Add celery to it. Add cucumber to it, and you'll get this delicious, refreshing, filling, flavored water. I'd be careful about bottled water. I know sometimes you don't have a choice about bottled water, but bottled water's got these, got, it's, the plastic of the bottles can leach into the water. In fact, little microplastic particles can be found in the water. When they, when they analyze the water that's in bottles, they, they find little pieces, microscopic pieces of plastic in the water. You don't have any choice, you don't have any choice, but if you can do filtered water and not do bottled water, that's great. I I mean, I know it's hard to do, but just keep in mind that bottled water can can be contaminated with plastics. These BPA plastics have hormonal actions. Children and and babies are especially sensitive to the hormonal actions of these microplastics. So use filtered water or filter your own water. Even a Brita filter doesn't get everything, but at least you're not going to have to deal with the plastics. So water is important. When we talk about hydrating, what we're really talking about is facilitating electrical charges. And it's all about electricity. I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. The line's open at 844-236-6010. I am Pharmacist Ben, and we're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com. You'll find longevity products at brightsideben.com. Also, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Got my moments of truth up at criticalhealthnews.com. Every day I do a 60 to 90 second video, just a short little blurb on something I find interesting. Hopefully you find interesting as well. Today I talked about lecithin. Yesterday I talked about CBD. The day before I talked about mind over body, which is something I absolutely love to talk about. To me that's the most important aspect of good health and a missing link in our very physically oriented culture where we look at the physical world as being real and we look at the non-physical world as being not real. 
This is a vestige of time gone by, and it's kind of ironic because we all know we have radio, and that's can't really see radio waves and television waves, and we know that the invisible or non-physical world is real, but we somehow don't take advantage of that as much as we should when it comes to good health. Anyway, do my moments of truth every day, and they're all posted at uh, Critical Health. Well, they're gradually posted at CriticalHealthNews.com, but they are all posted on our Facebook page, The Bright Side with Pharmacist Ben. Love to have you follow us there. We're going to do a Facebook Live, hopefully sometime, um, maybe this weekend, we'll do a Facebook Live. I'll get to answer questions from you guys. And then also, uh, you can find our moments of truth as well as various postings on our Facebook page. I'll be doing a talk in my lab at 2240 Curtis Street in Denver on the 29th of February 2020, if you're listening in the future, February 29th, 2020, and we'll be talking about the longevity products and the longevity business. I'll answer questions, and we'll also give away some free products, some Beyond Tangy Tangerine, some other freebies, maybe some Pollen Burst, and maybe some uh, some of our Keto Bars, and it's just fun to get to see you guys. That'll be February 29th at 11 a.m., 2240 Curtis Street in Denver, Colorado. So I'm sure everybody's heard about the coronavirus by now. I'm going to uh, I got, an e- uh, got a LinkedIn post from a friend of mine who has a radio show uh, on KSCO in Santa Cruz, Dr. Future. He's a good friend, and uh, I haven't talked to him for a while, but I did get a, a post from him, and he said, I saw your moment of truth on the coronavirus. I did a moment of truth on the coronavirus last week where I said that uh, don't worry so much about the coronavirus. I see, still see people walking around with masks like they're going to save. They're still eating McDonald's, and they're still eating their cornflakes and sugar-frosted flakes and trans fatty acid rich foods and you know still living the standard American lifestyle and eating the standard American diet but they're wearing a, a mask to prevent themselves with the coronavirus this is craziness this is really ridiculous the coronavirus is a very weak mild virus it's killed a, I don't know 1,000 or 2,000 people in the last four months out of 7.6 billion people on the planet it affects maybe 0.01% of the planet has been infected. 0.00001% has have, it's been fatal for. It's a very weak, mild virus. It affects mostly older people. It affects mostly people who have other conditions, diabetics, people who have autoimmune diseases, people who are dealing with some kind of uh, digestive health challenge. Most of the people who have died from the coronavirus are over the age of 60. In fact, most of them are over the age of 80. This is really crazy, and now you're going to see coronavirus vaccines and coronavirus medicines. The medical model is going to get involved with how protecting us from the coronavirus. If you want to protect yourself from the coronavirus, strengthen your immune system. Under conditions of weakened immunity, you're going to be more likely to get a lot of viruses. You're going to be more likely to get the shingles virus. You're going to more, be more likely to get influenza, the flu virus. You're going to be more likely to get the coronavirus. The coronavirus, by the way, is a type of SARS. It's a, uh, resp- it's a respiratory virus. It affects the respiratory system. Build your immune system. And there's lots of ways to do it. For the, mo- the most important thing is to stop toxins from getting into your body. Food toxins. Eating less. Calorie restriction is a great way to boost your immune system. Using the mighty 90 essential nutrients. How many people who have contracted the coronavirus or, or God forbid died from the coronavirus, how many of those people you think were on the mighty 90 essential nutrients? Zero. None of them. How many people in the mighty 90 essential nutrients are going to get the coronavirus? Nobody. Build your immune system, not only with vitamin C and selenium and essential fatty acids and iodine and magnesium and more protein. These are all critical for building the immune system. Probiotics, good bacteria, fermented food. You can also eat foods that help build the immune system. Mushrooms are one of the all-time great boosting foods. You increase levels of your immune immune globulins when you eat shiitake, maitake, chanterelle, vitamin, uh, mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, reishi mushrooms. All of these mushrooms have immune boosting properties. Some people have problems with fungus. I understand this. But mushrooms contain beta-glucan, which is incredibly valuable for, uh, for the immune system. And by the way, beta-glucan, longevity's beta-glucan, is a great way to protect you from the, uh, the coronavirus. Beta-glucan is one of the all-time under-appreciated active ingredients, not just for nutritional, but for the skin. I use beta-glucan in my skincare formulations. Garlic is another food that you can use to support, uh, to build the immune systems, to build the immune system. According to this article from the University of Florida in Gainesville, 
groups who uh, people who consumed aged garlic extract had significantly more immune T cells and natural killer or NK cells circulating in their bloodstream. Cruciferous vegetables, great sources of sulfur. Sulfur is ridiculously important for the immune system. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, they contain something called sulforaphane, which is a sulfur-containing compound that boosts the immune system, especially sprouts, especially broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are one of the all-time great foods. They're filling, they're delicious, and they boost the immune system, especially if you chew them really well. You want to make sure that you're chewing your sprouts really well because when you chew sprouts, you break up the, the cells and that releases the enzymes. The enzymes are really important for activating sulfur, excuse me, sulforaphane. According to researchers at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and University Children's Hospital in Basel, Switzerland, broccoli sprouts jack up the immune system better than the flu vaccine. Vaccines are not the best way to protect yourself from coronavirus. Well, from there's no vaccine for the coronavirus, but from the flu virus or any viruses, really. Build your immune system. Support immunity. Cranberry juice is a great way to support your immune system. Horseradish and wasabi is a great way to support your immune system. Blueberries, chili peppers. Chili, I love chili peppers. That's a, gr that's a great way to support everything, chili peppers, especially effective for the heart. All right, 844 is our number. From Wiley Online Library. Omega-3 fatty acids in the prevention of diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy is a vascular condition. It's associated with diabetes. It's a, a vascular condition of the retina. It causes the retina to break down. It can, it can be a, a cause of blindness. Diabetes is a leading cause of blindness. And you don't have to be diagnosed as a diabetic. If you have, di if you have retinopathy and they've told you, oh, you don't have diabetes, they don't know what they're talking about. Whether you have diabetes or not isn't the point. You have dysglycemia. That means messed up blood sugar. If you have retinopathy, guaranteed 100% you got messed up blood sugar, whether or not you've been diagnosed as a diabetic. And this tyranny of the diagnosis, that's what I call it, the tyranny of the diagnosis, has done more to screw up our health and our ability to take care of ourselves and is a, a, a black eye on the, on the uh, strategies of the medical model more than anything else, the, more than any other uh, concept or theory of the medical model. This idea of the diagnosis, the tyranny of the diagnosis is the worst. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm pharmacist Ben. On the bright side, pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'll be doing a talk in my lab, 2240 Curtis Street, Denver, Colorado, 80205, February the 29th, 2020. We'll talk about longevity products, give away longevity products, talk about our Truth Skin Health products, and answer questions about formulations or ingredients. It'll be an extended version of our bright side, daily bright side show. I don't get to talk about everything I want to talk about on the bright side because we only have a small amount of time, but when I do presentations, I can answer questions and really dive deep into some of the major concepts of health and nutrition, things that I've developed, things, concepts that I've developed and fine-tuned and honed over the last 30-plus years of being in the healthcare business. One of the ideas that I came up with a long time ago is the idea that your diagnosis doesn't matter. Disease is generic. The way the body breaks down is generic, and the stupidity of focusing on the part that is, de is deteriorating rather than the entire body as a whole is the reason why we got more healthcare professionals, more doctors and diagnostics and devices and drugs and, and uh, medical strategies than ever before, and we're still dropping dead at a, a rate of biblical proportions. We're still fatter and more cancer-ridden, more diabetes, have more diabetes than any other culture in the history of mankind because we're focusing on diagnosis. We're focusing on the part of the body that's breaking down. That does not work. If you want to be healthy, you focus on the body as a whole. Diabetes is a classic example of how we focus on numbers. We focus on test scores. We focus on names and categories and taxonomy. 
and diagnosis. Diabetes is a word. It's not an illness. It's a word. That's all it is. Dysglycemia is a biochemical process. Dysglycemia is when your blood sugar is messed up. Diabetes is a word. It's a category. We get called a diabetic if we have our blood sugar is at 120, but if it's at 119.99999, we're fine. And then as soon as you flip over 0.00001%, you go into diabetes. That's how stupid. That's a, that, that underscores the craziness of this diagnostic model. And, and I know that diagnosis can be handy sometimes because you don't have to really look at symptoms. You could just call somebody a diabetic, and all of a sudden you go into a diabetic protocol. Think about it. If your blood sugar is at 119.9999, you're fine. But as soon as you go over into 120, you get a different insurance program. You get different drugs, or you get drugs. You get different medical protocols. That's how silly these, the idea of using reference ranges and test scores is to assess health. In this article from the Journal of Pharmacy and Pharmacology, we talk about using omega-3 fatty acids to prevent diabetic retinopathy. Retinopathy means the retina is pathological. Retinopathy. The retina is sick. It's the leading cause of blindness. It happens to people when their blood sugar is messed up. You don't have to be diagnosed as a diabetic. If you have retinopathy, you have dysglycemia, almost 100% guaranteed, and you should treat yourself as such. And... By the way, we should all treat ourselves like that. We should all treat ourselves as if we have messed up blood sugar because chances are pretty good we do. Omega-3 fatty acids are incredibly important for heart disease, for blood sugar stabilizing, for the eyes, for the brain. And omega-3 fatty acids are difficult to find. Omega-6 fatty acids are not that difficult to find. Omega-6 fatty acids are found pretty much in all grains and seeds and nuts. Uh, omega-3 fatty acids, on the other hand, those are a little tricky. The omega-3 fatty acids are particularly important for electrical energy, for the flow of electrical energy. All fatty acids are, really. All fatty acids are important because they carry negative charges. What does that mean? It means electricity. Fatty acids are electron, essential fatty acids are electron rich. They have a cloud of electricity around them, literally. A cloud, they call it an electron cloud. That's what makes essential fatty acids so unbelievably valuable is they carry an elect cloud of electricity around them. They're negatively charged. They call it an electron cloud. And it's based on the fact that they have certain kinds of bondings. Specifically, they have double bonds. But it's these double bonds and all of this electrical energy that also makes essential fatty acids so unstable. This is why Dr. Wallach and a lot of other folks will say don't use vegetable oils. They contain not just essential fatty acids, but also something called poly... Poly means many, unsaturated uh, fatty acids, PUFAs, P-U-F-A's. Maybe you heard this term, PUFAs. A PUFA, polyunsaturated fatty acid, means it has lots of electricity, lots of double bonds. Polyunsaturated means it's got double bonds. A double bond is like two magnets. In fact, all the chemistry is like magnets. If you, ever, if you can remember your high school chemistry, you probably remember all of these weird letters that are connected to each other with lines. C, line, C, a lot like a straight, like a dash or a straight line. Those lines are called bonds. And those bonds can be thought of as magnets. One bond is pretty stable. But when you have two bonds, two magnets, or a double bond, they call it, that's very unstable. And when, when you uh, heat that double bond, it explodes. And this is what causes the problems with heating oils. It's got lots of double bonds, lots of double magnets. You heat these double magnets, and they're very reactive. That's why you never want to heat your vegetable oils. Now, I don't go so far as to say to completely avoid vegetable oils. What I say is be very respectful of your vegetable oils. There's too many good things in a vegetable oil to just throw out the baby with the bathwater. In my humble opinion, you have to make your own decision on that. But I don't agree with people who say don't eat them at all. I say be respectful of them. Use them carefully. Make sure they're fresh. Make sure they're cold. Don't heat them. Don't let them out. put them out in the sun. Don't use them when they're old. Use them fresh. But you get all kinds of great stuff in vegetable oils. Vitamin E is not the, uh, and other phyto or uh, fatty nutrients, I should say, are found in vegetable oils, especially olive oil. I know, I know I'm going against the grain here, but in my opinion, and I've seen too many turnarounds, especially in skin health, oils are very important for the skin. Udo's Blend is a nutritional oil. I love Udo's Blend, nutritional oil. It's in the, you keep it in the refrigerator, and it's got all kinds of vegetable oils in there. Actually, it has uh, 
forgot what the vegetable oil is that's in there, but it's, it's in a dark bottle, and then you got to use it fresh. You definitely don't want to heat it. Oils will also help pull out the nutrients from vegetables. So if you mix your vegetables with a little bit of oil, if you don't want to do vegetable oil, at least do coconut oil and, uh, and butter. Coconut oil and butter are two really great uh, great sources of fat. Uh, if you don't want to do vegetable oil, if you're going to do vegetable, if you if you want to do vegetable oil, try to pick the ones that have uh, that have more nutritional have more nutritional value and more stability. Macadamia nut oil is a is a stable, a relatively stable oil. None of them are totally stable. But I've just seen too many health uh, health issues, especially skin issues, resolve when people got on oils or when they corrected fat malabsorption, which is a whole other issue when it comes to fats and fatty nutrients. My moment of truth today was on lecithin, which is one of the great underappreciated nutritional supplements. Lecithin, L-E-C-I-T-H-I-N. If you listen to this program, you know you probably heard of lecithin, but most people haven't. Lecithin is used by the body, literally, to pull fats out of food. Lecithin is a component of bile. It's a must-have nutritional supplement for people who've had their gallbladder taken out. Also, if you have fatty liver disease, you might want to consider using lecithin. Lecithin granules. Look for GMO-free lecithin. Lecithin. lecithin is a GMO crop, so you got to look for GMO-free lecithin. And I like sunflower lecithin better than soy lecithin. Most lecithin comes from soy, so you got to go a little, got to uh, look around a little bit to find a sunflower lecithin and non-GMO lecithin. Pam cooking oil, by the way, is lecithin because lecithin helps uh, helps separate out fats from uh, it helps keep the fats away from your your pan keeps the fats from burning in your pan lecithin stabilizes fats and that's why it's made in the body lecithin is not just made by the body made in the body for digestion lecithin is also a key component of cell membranes so uh, especially nerve cell membranes so if you're dealing with a movement disorder like parkinson's parkinson's disease that's hard to say parkinson's disease or als or multiple sclerosis you may want to consider lecithin supplements if you're dealing with dementia or cognitive disorders or you want to prevent cognitive disorders as you get older lecithin can help facilitate memory and thinking thinking clearly give somebody some lecithin granule supplements or lecithin oil supplements who's in the nursing homes dealing with dementia issues and they will cognate more effectively they'll have better memory and better learning skills as well and always use fatty vitamins with your lecithin particularly vitamin e Vitamin E is one of the uh, one of the really great great nutritional supplements. Number one, because it's so benign and so gentle, you don't you can take mega doses of vitamin E no problem, which is a, a bit unusual for a fatty vitamin. The four fatty vitamins: vitamins D, E, A, and K. E is the most benign. E doesn't really work inside of cells. It basically works on the outside of cells where it protects the membrane, which makes it really important for the brain. Lecithin and vitamin E together for brain health for people who have Alzheimer's dementia or Parkinson's dementia, any dementia, or if they're just getting older and you're having cognitive problems, lecithin and vitamin E together. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thank you so much for listening, friends. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for our truth skin health products. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you later, folks. Bye for now. Thank you.